I'm Carrie, and today our move challenge of the day for March 24th is going to be the mat Pilates exercise, leg pull up and leg pull down. At home, all you need is a hard surface, even the carpet will do. Or if you have a mat, such as I do, you can utilize that. We're going to go ahead and start with coming down to the ground and gently grounding ourselves into the earth, just allowing ourselves to breathe and feel the ground underneath us. Reaching our legs nice and long, we're going to start with leg pull up. So to begin with, reaching our legs nice and long, we're going to take our arms and reach them nice and long behind us. You can either choose to have your fingers pointing forward, utilizing the heels of your hands for the weight of your upper body, or externally rotated, which for me, who has a little bit of wrist issues, feels a little bit more comfortable. The first thing you're gonna do is go ahead, set them behind you, so that your wrists are directly underneath your shoulders and in line with your elbows. Sitting nice and tall in a vertical position, up on those sit bones, you're gonna go ahead, inhale to prepare, and exhale, draw the hips up in a nice level fashion, reaching the legs nice and long, and plugging the shoulders down the back to ensure that they are staying out of your ear space. This is a lot of shoulder stabilization work, glutes, you've got hamstrings, and core all is engaged. You're squeezing the back side of your body. You're going to inhale to prepare on an exhale, lift the leg up, and gently send it down. Left leg up, and down. to five sets and then carefully set the sits bones down release those arms if you had any wrist pressure you can gently pull back on those fingers or roll the wrists around send your body nice and long over the tops of your legs get that stretch out of the back side of your body some modifications if you want to make it a little more challenging we'll go back up to that position you can go ahead, inhale to prepare, exhale, lift up. You can go ahead, hold it for a few additional seconds. You can go ahead, externally rotate, and then draw down. There are, you can go ahead, lift up, and pulse, if that too works for you. And then do three to five additional sets and slowly set your bottom down. To make it a little easier for those who do have maybe chronic wrist issues, if you have a box or stairs or even a table at home, you can set yourself back just a little bit, bring your forearms and your elbows onto the box, and then you're going to go ahead and inhale to prepare, and in the same fashion, exhale, lift up to the set ceiling, right? But your elbows are directly underneath your shoulders. You're still reaching those toes nice and long in opposition, your head, and you're going to lift up and then exhale, Inhale down, exhale lift, inhale down, and then repeat that for three to five sets before setting your sits bones down and taking that last stretch. That is leg pull up. For leg pull down, we're going to go ahead, we're going to move to the opposite position. This position is going to be face down. In this position, we're going to go ahead. We're coming back onto the tripods of our hands, right? And again, either fingers are facing forward or they're going to externally rotate. What I am concerned about is that your wrists stay directly in line with the elbows and your shoulders. You're going to go ahead into that nice Japanese bridge or plank position. That is where your feet reach nice and long, your rib cage draws up to the ceiling, belly button to spine. When you're in this position, you want to make sure that the crux of your elbows are facing forward. You're going to hold that position. You want your, uh, your heels reaching long to the mall behind you. Belly button is drawn up. Rib cage is engaged. There is a lot of core happening here. From here, you're going to inhale to prepare. Exhale, lift that right leg. Inhale down. Exhale, lift. Keeping both hips shining down to the ground. As if there were lights on them, both lights are shining in an equal distance. Exhale, lift, inhale down. Your neck is in line with your spine. You're squeezing your glutes. Total body engagement. Lots of 
shoulder work, glutes, and hamstrings. When you're done there, you can gently set your knees down and take a child's pose. Some modifications for that to make it a little more challenging. We'll go back up into that position, engage the core, draw the ribs up to the ceiling, belly button to spine. You can do things as rocking back and forth, holding it out there. You can go ahead into the body's first position, externally rotate, again, pointing the toe. You can pulse the foot up on one side for several counts, and then back to neutral. Draw those knees down and take that child's pose. Get that energy out of your wrist if there's any of that you might feel. To make it a little more user-friendly, if in fact it gets into your wrist, again, we'll go back to the table, the box, or even a stair. You're going to gently set those forearms onto the surface that you choose. You can go ahead, send those legs long. On an exhale breath, you lift up, squeeze the glutes. The further your feet are apart, the more challenging it will become. Again, inhale and exhale, lift and lower, lift and lower. Do that for three to five counts, or three to five sets, and then slowly draw the knees down when you are finished, and take that child's pose. And that is leg pull up and leg pull down. Thank you for joining me today.